Hello, it's your girl Esther Joy coming at you with another video. On this channel, we love to talk about love, light, joy, and me, peace. So if you, my friend, are one of those amazing light beings that love spreading these beautiful frequencies to Mother Earth, then hit subscribe and join the Good Vibes Delivery channel. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about cleaning. Cleaning is something that, I don't know, maybe it's a turn off for some people because it's like, oh, it's like work, but really, let's be honest, it's not really work, you're just rearranging things. <sighs> why is cleaning so important? I don't know, I'm so worked up today, sorry guys, but why is cleaning so important? Well, every object in our home holds a frequency, a vibration, a certain energy, right? My black tourmaline holds a different energy than uh, my solidite, sol solidite, solidite. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But you can definitely see that these two objects, they have different frequencies. So does everything else in your house. And you are an accumulation of those energies. So when you are cleaning, my friend, please think about what energies are reflecting in you. Wherever you're spending your time, whatever you're spending your attention to, that is what you're going to attract. That's how the law of attraction works. That's how life works, that's how energy works. So what is in your immediate surroundings? Is it reminding you of a bad time in the past? Maybe an ex or something you haven't thrown away their sweater or gave it back yet? Don't worry, I'm saying this out of uh, personal experience. But yeah, definitely, it's clean up time, time to go. Spring is going to be eventually here and spring cleaning is great but why not get a head start and really shovel out some of that old uh, energy you no longer need and of course I don't be wasteful about it there are plenty of places for you to donate your clothing there are plenty of places for you to recycle uh, old bottles or wire or metal there are plenty of things that you can do with these objects but cleaning is so important to your energy to your mind, to your body. It really, really, really is. So today, um, I don't know if you can see on my calendar, but it says, it's a clean your desk top day. So I'm going to be clearing out all of my desks, all of my, um, all of the desks in my room. And I'm just gonna be clearing them down, taking everything off, cleaning it, wiping it, saging it, whatever I need to do to cleanse that bad boy, and then I'm going to be um, releasing a lot of old stuff I have not used in over a year, so I really don't think um, it's serving me. So, when we are cleaning, what are some tips that we should keep in mind? Some tips that I found very helpful is take everything off. Everything off, don't leave anything on and put it in some uh, area that you can really look through and go through everything. I'm gonna let my dog inside and then I'll go on to tip number two. Hello, Jedi, hello. Hi. <gasps> oh, Jedi wants to say hello. Thank you. Yeah. So tip number two, when you are cleaning out your um, surfaces, it's important for it to really reflect you and your energy. If you're living with other people or other animals, then maybe have a designated spot for certain things that are shared or um, objects that are moved around a lot. That really helps keep things looking clean uh, because even though those items are moving around so much, you have a spot for them or you have multiple spots that you can put them. <laughs> um, hmm. No right. So number three, when we are cleaning our spaces, today I am just doing the desktops, but I really want to talk about old energies, as in old clothing you don't wear anymore. Hi. Um, old objects that maybe not serving you, 
and a lot of the times we hold on to things just for the sake of the memory and that's awesome if the memory is pleasant and nice. I have a little box that I like to put all um, little miscellaneous gifts or um, knickknacks that I find um, I enjoy reflecting on every once in, and once in a while when I'm cleaning. But I don't think that we should have a whole room of them. I don't think that that's really serving us. So I suggest when you are going through objects that hold near and dear memories to you, put them somewhere where you can either see it if you want to remember that memory or if you are willing to release it from your uh, surroundings but not entirely you know out to the world then maybe just have a special box where you place all old knickknacks and memories and um, things like that just getting them out of the way making space for new energy um, for instance I cleaned out my closet and um, <laughs> I'm saying for instance, I didn't even give you the example, but pretty much when you clear out that old energy, you are allowing new energy to come in like that. And um, it's great when you have that intention, you're clearing out that older energy that no longer serves you. You're literally releasing um, that from your from your aura, from your space that's no longer with you and that object you know, when it is gone, you have created space for now new energy, more recurrent energy to come into you. Um, for instance, I cleared out my closet and the next day, uh, my friend was, you know, she was clearing out hers and I was like, hey, and I ended up getting a whole bunch of like awesome clothing. So it was like a great experience and now I have more clothing that, you know, I'm clearing out, donating, so I have the perfect space and everything is fitting snug and well. But that was like, I cleaned and then the next day I got, like I cleared out my closet and the next day I got clothing that more resonated with me, which is really, really cool. I thought that was like awesome, you know, it really does work fast, the energies. So cleaning is important. Don't really hold on to things just because you think they're going to come in handy one day eventually. If you really think that you have that gut feeling they are, then have a designated spot to put those items. When it comes to throwing away items, um, I feel like a lot of the times we feel bad because we don't want to be wasteful, but there are plenty of ways to donate, maybe give it to a friend. Um, you can even bring it probably to a thrift store and you know maybe sell it and get a couple bucks out of that that's a great way to just clear your space clear your area and make space for new energy um yeah because again everything holds energy literally everything so when you are in your space if it is not sparking joy in you new if it's not giving you peace of mind if it is not <sighs> lighting you up with love then Mm, maybe it's time to let it go uh, cleaning objects I have noticed like my friend certain people when they're cleaning they might feel compelled to just throw everything away but I would highly suggest donating because there's still a lot of people that could use that clothing and um, you know one man's trash is another man's treasure you have beautiful energy my friend and I'm sure someone else could read that off of your older things and you never know what someone is really looking for so with that being said don't feel like you are being wasteful when you are donating try to minimize how much you throw away there's always a way to reuse items um, so you know be fun have fun with that and uh, don't let that limit you from throwing away or releasing something that isn't serving you in your house so yeah that is what i have for today i'm gonna be doing my cleaning trying to going to clear out all the space that i visually see even if you are the kind of person that puts things in drawers and just kind of like shows them in there and closes the drawer that's i'm gonna say it's you will have still, you know, those energies and low-key subconsciously you're going to know that stuff is there. 
but if your visual area is clear that's gonna help a lot and if you enjoy having a clean clear place to work a place to be productive then that's going to inspire you to later on go through those draws and because your new appreciation of space you may um, find it easier to go through and sort those draws out but uh yeah okay that's my little chat on cleaning i hope you guys found it uh valuable if you did hit that like button so i know and if you like today's video and you are, are wanting more i post daily so hit that subscribe button to stay updated hit that post bell notification and uh then you'll really know when i post um yeah i would love to know what your cleaning tips are in this um with this i didn't really go about the spiritual aspect of cleaning um but uh maybe i'll do that in another video i just really want to go over the physical um energies that we are clearing out during this time i am so thankful if you watched all the way to this point god bless you i love you and i will see you in the next video bye